We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today we finally make our return to Age of Fear 3 of the Legend. We have played uh, many of the Age of Fear games, uh, par partially through, partway through uh, many of them. Uh, we played the free-to-play one, the free world. We played the original Undead King and the, the Sea of Swallowing Saltwater and all sorts of stuff. I think we even dabbled into Age of Fear 4. So there's a whole bunch here for you guys to enjoy if you happen to like tactical turn-based strategy games with your little squad going around doing some stuff. And it's, uh, you know, pretty well done for the narrative-written side of things as well. So, anyway, long story short, we're back with uh, the original Age of Fear game that we played on the channel. And I've been wanting to finish it for a very long time. So, that's our goal, I guess. We're going to try to finish it. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Anyway, we we basically finished off the wyverns, and uh, there was a plant over here that we had to kill. We killed the spore down there. There wasn't much left to do on the map. Hopefully everything's good. Let's continue our adventure. Uh, we got to go to the menu and end the battle. And then we get to see what kind of amazing treasures we've gathered. Uh-huh. And uh, if I hadn't mentioned this, and, and I'm pretty sure I haven't had the opportunity to, and what you're seeing right now is what I'm going to mention. Uh, the developer, when the developer works on one of his games, and I, I maybe I'm uh, slightly off of this, but I, I'm pretty sure this is accurate. When he works on one of his games, he decides to add new stuff to it. He decides to change things up and add this, that, or whatever the case is. He tries to implement that throughout all of his games. So if you see a change that you like, and you're like, you know, I played three a long time ago, and it was it was okay. Let's just say you're you're not impressed or whatever, right? It was okay, but it'd be really cool if there's some extra stuff. Then you go and you hop in and you play one of the new ones, and you're like, oh man, all these extra things, these random battles, and this and that, and this is really cool. I wish the other games had. There's a good chance the other games have it. So, yeah, as he continues to evolve and change his, you know, uh, knowledge and and ideas and concepts of what he wants in each game or in as as a whole for the whole series he tries to implement that into everything now we gained whatever this is i don't know what this is the ring of anti-magic okay it's a legendary ring minus two base mp for spellcasters only which is not great it gives us magic resistant iron mind uh, okay we've got ourselves our windmill uh the endless purse suddenly swells with gold with gold coins receive 250 gold coins artifact will generate gold every day the bazaar is open on this day and like i said a million things just popped in it looks like the blood moon is there it, just so much stuff folks world tree secluded monastery shaman's hut there's some battles to be had up here i don't even know where to begin right now there's a town thing there uh, I don't think anything was over on this side. Uh, the mermaid thing was th that wasn't there, I don't think, for this game back when we originally played it. So, I feel... I don't want to say vindicated, because honestly, I should have just finished this back in the day. So, uh, But I, it does feel good to come back to a game after so long, having not finished it, and seeing a whole bunch of new stuff pop out at you. Like, I'm a big fan of that. I think that's fantastic, and I'm, I'm here for it. So, that being said, let's go over here. Okay, a windmill standing tall and proud is a marvel of Mason. All right, so we've already done that, and he pays his duty every day. That's good. I just want to make sure that it's there. Your party has discovered some ancient writing on the stone wall. One of your heroes recognizes the glowing etchings as demonic language. Shall your hero attempt to decrypt the symbols? That's a foul language. Let's go. Or let's see if we can figure out what it says. All right, let's go with that. The demonic symbols were successfully decrypted. After reading aloud the translated etchings, a mysterious amulet appeared out of thin air. And we got uh, the Amulet of Chaos. It's a plus three to base MP for spellcasters. We get static magic. There is no MP regeneration, though, which is not good. And it changes you to evil. Eh. Almost, almost a good thing. Like, I don't know where to begin at this point. Like, there's a lot going on here. 
a smuggler's den, and then we have a town up here. Do we want to go there? Is that going to be good for us? Force clash. I, I was thinking that we would just advance the storyline, but now I'm I'm curious as to whether or not that's even the play. How about we do this? How about we do a cave clash and then we dive into the undead tunnel? Or maybe that. I I don't know. Let's let's do the cave clash. Uh, yeah, let's let's do it. I I didn't level up any of my characters. Thought about doing that off camera. Just figured we'd just jump in and do something else immediately. It looks like we probably have the advantage. This guy will blow up. We gotta be mindful of that. But I, I don't think we're in any real trouble. There's a couple of archers. I think we're gonna be fine. Can we uh, manipulate and maneuver our people? We absolutely can, of course. This is Gilrock. That is Gilrock. Who's this guy? Adelaine? You're a rune master? Okay. Yeah, I actually don't know... Who I have in my party. Like I said, it's been a while. Uh, we have a couple Tesla gunners. Dwarven rogue. We got our dwarven engineer. Are these really the best people for the, the, the job? Because we didn't have these guys in the last one. We had some of them, but not all of them. We are pretty melee heavy right now, which I guess isn't necessarily like inherently bad. But it's a little bit, a little bit strange for me. You guys know how much I like to have ranged units. I think I might actually throw some ranged units into the mix a bit more. Like maybe we'll drop one of these guys. I don't know who's who's the best one to drop. I don't want to drop Gimli just because you know namesake and all that. You know, you, you, you got to represent. You know. If your name's Gimli, you gotta be represented in a dwarven like fashion. Like you, you just you have to be there. Just you can't not be there. Alright, I think we're gonna do something a little bit more akin to this. I think it gives us a little bit more uh, maneuverability. Ooh, wait, we got our That's right, we got our Berserker guy, but I don't Hmm. I don't know how I wanna necessarily throw him into the mix can skirt him by the outside maybe we'll be able to do something with him there got a lot of these dudes and i don't know about our archer here now i know this guy's got more range than most of the others so that's fine uh we'll put you in reserve and we'll bring in what do, what do we know about you we don't know anything about you all right yeah i think we're just gonna bring you in Kagar. All right. All right. Let's end the turn. I, I believe that's basically the start of our adventure here. We got some fire barrels that we'll be able to theoretically ignite. Uh, I think we just maybe wait a little bit. And maybe even we just shoot the barrel now. Now let's just wait. I think we're fine. Let them close with us. I, I don't see the, the point in us doing anything else. Uh, they do have a troll, which is going to throw some heals on himself. I'm not really sure how strong the ogres are. But again, we're dwarves. Uh-oh. What the heck was that? Why did the whole universe just shake? Cyclops, Finn, Goblin, Sapper, Warrior, Cyclops were stunned during the earthquake. Who's Finn? I assume Finn is one of our dudes. Finn is the mage. Finn is the mage. Is that, wait, wait a minute. I know I know the answer to that one. I know who Finn is. What are they doing over here? They seem perplexed because they were blocked in by their compatriots. Oh, they're outside the range. We're going to have to actually scoot up a little bit. Just a little. Sure, sure. What do you need now, boss? Me da said to always carry a big axe. Locked and loaded. Okay, we're gonna try to exchange with some of these guys. 
Uh, it's just too risky. I need to take it out. Make it like I said, it's just, it's not worth the risk. Make a better mind already. I'm going to send our, our melee compatriot up to the front lines there because I feel like he is going to benefit from it pretty greatly and who knows. Who knows what else is going to happen. Calibrate in sight. We're always going to have to scoot up a little bit because of the nature of the enemy gets in range and they can start shooting you and you're out of range. and It just always seems like the enemy's range is greater than your own for the most part. So... It's one of those things, yeah, this guy's gonna shoot. I knew he was gonna hit someone. Just didn't know who. Or for how much. But the good news is, he's incredibly weak. He's got one hit point, so if we hit him, he's dead, basically. So all we really gotta do is just, just not miss. Alright, so immediately we're already feeling much better. I don't remember how the runes work. Hmm. Up to three nearby allies can be part of the chain. Heal chain, the rune of the chain lightning. Oh, and I can block. Okay. Runic power flows through. Yeah. What do you do that. that felt pretty good. Not gonna lie, I enjoyed that. Gonna try to hit the big wall of a guy there. Didn't really do much. We got another chain lightning that we can blast, though. Oh, we definitely doing that. Let's hear it. Good luck with that, guys. All right, and then over on this side, forty percent chance. I mean, it's a chance. We got the sixty. Just oiling the old gal. It just feels. It just feels right, you know. All right, now who? You know who we're gonna want to throw in? How far could? No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. Well, that was, uh, that was not great. That was not part of the plan. If we were trying to stick to the plan, we, we did not stick to the plan, man. Okay, that looked like it hurt a little bit. Alright, we got you, who can't move. And we got you, who can also probably not move. Coming through. <coughs> I made a mistake. I didn't mean to move him up. I wanted to cancel his, uh, like, me having him selected. And I wanted to see the movement that the ogre could go. And stupidly, I just clicked on him and sent him into it. And it was not, not what I was shooting at. But, interestingly enough, they made some critical errors on their own behalf. And I suppose I'm probably here for it. Uh, I feel like he's enraged at this point, so we're just going to have to accept whatever happens and move on. Okay. Big guy down. Another big guy. Ooh, frosty boy. All right. Move up with our big guy. Oh, we missed a 90. That's all right. We, we know that I'm prone to miss 90s. what I do. It's one of those things. So you think you can boss me around? I am going to step up with a multitude of our people. Just so we can hopefully land some attacks on the folks that need it. Make it snappy. Uh, yeah. I've got a few spells up my sleeve. Yeah. Let Finn do a little bit of work there. Okay, who do we have left? We have our rune dude. Our rune buddy. Alright, just gonna let him chill there. That does heal. Let's go ahead and heal and inebriate ourselves a little bit. Alright, onward! The ogres are making their rounds. Archers are arching. The magic's gonna be hitting us soon. Oh, he's, he's reclaiming and regaining his mana. I mean, that makes sense. It's, it's good to do that, you know? I think I'm going to use the magic shield. Just in case. I can't hit that.
Oh, don't worry. We'll eat what's left of you. We'll eat what's left of you? Did that is that what he just said? What do you need now, boss? <laughs> that didn't sound like a thing that you'd want to hear Stop from your uh, compatriots. Oh, well, that didn't just work. I don't think that worked either. Oh, we're not we're not able to I'm hit that not right. Drunk. Yeah, you're you're you're, you're, you're may, you might be a little bit drunk, buddy. Reloading. All right, we took down a, another another big boy there. All right, we got some options. We can take a, a three-piece shot here. Felt good. You can't do anything. You can take this thing out. We've also gone after the archer there. A ranged unit on this side can't do much. This guy, I mean, we're we're grouped up for a big AOE right now, and I am not really liking that. So I'm hoping that things are going to go okay. Oh boy. We're about to find out. It's not going to take too long. Oh, he moved. Okay, I not expected. As long as Finn didn't get hit here, I think we're good. Is that the fireball? That is the fireball. All right. Be quick, please. Cook him. Cook him all. Yep, and you saw that blow up off of it? Yeah, that was slick. That was slick, wasn't it? Huh? That was pretty good. Calibrating sight. Alright, we're gonna go after him with our weird armor thing. Hurry it up. Our living armor, and then the rest of our crews is gonna kinda Mida said to always carry a big axe. I, I guess slap some fools upside the face, some ogre boys. I'll trim you like my wife's beard. I'll trim you like my wife's beard. That's rough. So you think you can boss that's, me that's, that's that's a little uh That's a little rough. That is a little bit rough. All right, let's take a shot with you. I really like this weird contraption that we have here. It pleases Locked me greatly. Down. Make it snappy. All right, well, we definitely handled this. This was not a, a big, stressful, or difficult thing for us to deal with. Who's, who, who do we... All right, we got ourselves a pearl, which is just great. Like, the thing that we want. I think anyone who did get hurt wasn't hurt very badly and none of them actually have any injuries so that's a good sign and he's just gonna run but he's not gonna get away all right that was a lot we got uh some potatoes okay i don't know what this stuff is for yet collected after cave lava fields and sea battles some amber. Okay. Okay, I mean, like, I'm here for it. Sure. Well, we're going to do that thing. All right, let's check the nameplates real quick. There's some grain bags that we also want to go take a Meet quick smack at. Me. Nothing. I, I think that might be everything, but uh, just, just to be sure. You guys know I like to move my characters around a little bit. Make sure there's no, like, hidden treasure chests or anything. I don't believe there is. I am pretty sure that we are good to go. Alright, looks like we're good to go. Let's go ahead and end our battle. Yes. Not too bad. We gained ourselves a belt of some sort. Hello? There we go. A legendary artifact, the Belt of Giant Strength, gives us giant strength. Spellcasters cannot use. Units with ranged attacks cannot use. Plus one to attack. Now, if I recall correctly, we're going to have to go somewhere and actually see our troops before we engage in combat. I'm going to go check this out real quick. Uncle Dory! Hi, who's there? Oh, Gilrock, is that you? Tell me, Uncle, what are you doing here? Auntie must be fuming. Psst, Ortella doesn't know. She thinks I've only been gone out fishing. I am so sorry for my bad accent. 
Ah, I know when best to keep my mouth shut. So, what have you been smithing lately? Take a look for yourself, lad. What can I do for you? The dwarven runesmith smashes his hammer over and over into the glowing steel on his anvil, setting a flurry of sparks flying in all directions. Countless forged armaments decorate the walls of his workshop, each showing an exceptional level of craftsmanship. This is a dwarf who knows a thing or two about smithing. As the heroes enter, he sets his hammer down, gives his long white beard a quick stroke, and squints in their direction. For the right price, he'll be happy to upgrade the party's basic weapons, armor and shields. Oh, really? Why don't we... Ah. The helmet... The helmet... The helmet of haste. Okay. The dwarven runesmiths are started starts the dwarven runesmith excuse me starts working after only a few strikes on his anvil he hands you a perfectly crafted item. We've gained ooh that looks fancy. So we've got to hover over it right there we go. Uh, plus one defense plus twenty to speed and spellcasters can't use. All right, let's gotcha, you, gotcha, you, gotcha, you, gotcha. You. Okay, let's go back to the old map. And I believe we have a base of operations somewhere. It might not be in this game, but it, like I said, I feel like it should be somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Also, we can, uh, we can do this. And we can do this, too. Welcome to the Mages Bazaar, my friends. There's only, uh, there is one in only one place like this in the whole kingdom. All us mages gather in one, in once place, I guess in one place, for a day to present their best works. Aye, that's how ye dragged us here, is it? Can we go back now? You need a you need a taste of civilization, lad. This place is famous for. Aye, aye, aye. We've saw it all now. We're all civilized. Can we go back now? <laughs> ye dwarves are bloody savages, I tell you. New items have been added to your items cache. Ah, <sighs> it's been a while, guys and gals. It's been a little while, but. Uh, I do. I, I I really have missed this game a lot. So what is this guy? He's a dwarven engineer. We got a dwarven also engineer. Hold on. Oh, okay, forge master, engineer, rogue warrior, rogue warrior. gunner, Tesla gunner, uh, warrior, warrior. Death Seeker. Okay, that's the, the two handed dude. Another Gunner. Runesmith. Our Guardian. So sick. Uh, a Gunner. Okay. Okay. I have an idea of what our characters look like and what they're doing right now. Let's check the items. An Advanced Antidote. Ooh, very nice. So all they sell are potions here? Time Substance? Does not use turns action. Unit receives. An extra action for two turns. Interesting. Yeah, they only have potions. That's sort of very, very strange. Eutogen. Units earn traits twice faster when while equipped. Occasionally an existing trait might be removed. Ooh. Hero constructs elementals cannot use. Yeah, I don't think I want to use it either. Radagast's Isolator. It's not used turn... Unit's turn action. Uh, magic immunity. Resist all spells for two turns. Spells all magical enhancements. Can be used after unit moves. Cannot be used next to an enemy. Yeah, interesting. No, I think we're... I think we're okay. I think we're good. Well, what's craft? Oh my god, what is this? Alright, give me a minute. This is completely new. I don't know what to think of this. We can craft poison stuff. What? 
Like I said, man, the, the developer is constantly working on his games and all of the games. When he does an update to one, he does an update like across the board to most other things. So it's real strange to, you know, come back after so long having not played it and just seeing all the differences because I, I have no idea really how to parse this. And if you guys are, you know, watching the series straight through for the very first time, you'd be like, what just happened? Well, again, it's one of those, it's it's a very good thing. It's something I love seeing. I love when developers show love to their own projects and stuff and they continually work and tweak and try to improve and make better. So yeah, this is, this is great. Um, 5X Elixirs of Swiftness. Uh, okay, most items can be crafted. Left click on items, see the recipe crafting is available only in shops. And the following criteria must be fulfilled. Items recipe is known. Crafting recipes for other items in the theme set are learned when an item is crafted for the first time. Okay, uh, let's see. Required attributes, skill, traits are present in any unit on the team. For example, blacksmith. Gotcha. Required resource items are available amongst the player's items. Resource items are gathered automatically through every battle. All right, so let's uh, let's craft this, I guess. Maybe? I don't... Do we have the crafting recipe? We, we could get it, but we don't have it. Okay, I got you. Well, that's cool. So that's something to really play around with. Okay, apologies. Had to let the dog out. All right, so I don't think I'm going to do anything here. Let's continue on. Uh, are you sure you're going to leave recruiting your adventure? Hold on. I can't actually recruit anyone, right? Like, I, it says I can dismiss. I don't think I can recruit anyone from here. It would show up on... I think on the top. Yeah, yeah that's fine. And, I, and I'll level them up at another date. Alright, let's go do this. Gilruck and Finn were a bit preoccupied with Mornin to notice at first. But since entering the room... A chunk of the wall had been knocked in, revealing a cave behind the rubble. Nothing unusual about that, sure, but it pretty well caught our attention after a bunch of skeletons started peeking their heads in through the gap. Uh. They were carrying these big, weird, glowy green stones. Not that we thought much of it at the time. What caught our attention was, since when do we dwarves keep pet skeletons? Well, there was not much thinking on Gilruk's side, I'll tell you that. He just jumps straight into the hole. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I would do the same. Alright, so here you can see that we can recruit a variety of different folks. We pretty much have everything that's here. I don't think I'm going to change any of that. We could do a bunch of level up changes and all that. I honestly think we're just good to go. I mean, it might behoove us to go look at some of the skills. Gunpowder barrel place and magical armor and weapon. Maybe I'm a little bit more inclined with that. Uh, let's do Magical Weapon, because you guys know me. I'm all about that offense. Now, here's a pretty pretty big deal, though. Uh, 60% resist, uh-huh. So, not real sure what I want to throw. Fire Rune, it's a trap. wonder how far out we can cast that. That sounds impressive. Unit can carry two additional. We have Alchemy, and we got Bribing... Visibility for eight plus one per level turns. Melee backstabs. Melee attacks are backstabs when invisible. Meta magic cast magical enhancements last for one turn longer. We have nullify magic, reflection shield, hypnotize. I think hypnotize is the one that we're going to go with. And then piercing magic. Eh. Let's go here real quick to our, uh, to Doran. He is currently our gunner. We can get him greater magic resist, which I think is a passive. So I think I'm just going to throw that on him, and then we'll upgrade him after that. It's probably going to be the Tesla gunner, if I'm being honest. All right, I want to say beyond that, let's take a look here. I'm not going to go through all of these. Stealth melee attacks don't wake up sleeping enemies. Unit moves, wake up nearby enemies. Attack two, darkness, move to darkness. Reinforced ale, tough. Repost, again, not super useful, maybe. 
It's kind of hard to tell, to be honest. Um, all right, I think I'm going to do this, and we're going to go back in real quick, and we're going to get stealth. And then I think our Tesla gunner, and then that's going to be it. That's what you are, right? Just, uh, you're just a gunner. Can't even upgrade you to that, huh? Don't have enough experience points. 300 for that. All right, and then we're going to go... Where is our Tesla gunner? Are you a gunner too? I know we have one by gun. Really? Where where are you? I'm so confused. Forgive me while I search. Ah, here we are. While I search frantically for our guy. Oh, he's done. Okay, cool. All right, let's let's continue. Yep, it's fine. We we did what we needed. We're good. Oh my god, I might have been wrong. Those things are coming from that there hole. Uh, wait. We need a plan. You got an excellent... I've got an excellent long-term strategy for you. Jump in the hole, smash the monsters. Oh my. This is, uh... This is a lot. Is there any magic casty boys? There's a lich at the backside. That's gonna be a bit rough to deal with. Uh, we got a necromancer maybe here. Skeleton... Mage, okay. Well, I mean... Eh, eh. Don't know what to tell you guys. Um, I guess this is going to be a tale for another time, but maybe we could set up our, our grouping of dudes to start with. That might not be the worst plan of all time. Might be. Might be the worst plan of all time. I think I'm going to go with you here. I'm going to... I don't know. I feel like I need to tentatively place the other guy. I don't think you can just put him into action like a normal dude. Like, like he needs to be, like, cautiously added into the mix. I sort of want to put my mage on the front lines, too. Like, sort of want to. But also incredibly do not want to. Alright, you'll fit, right? Sort of. You'll fit? Kind of. Okay. Well, I guess that's what we're going to end up going with. Anyway, folks. That's it for now. It looks like there is going to be a large amount of scary, scary, spooky boys. There's skeleton mages. We got ourselves big old scary uh, bone golem here who's coming to smack us along with the abominations. Got a lot of little mummy dudes. We got some skeletal archers that are not the easiest thing to do. There's a sarcophagus or sarcophagi there. Uh, a couple of them. We've got ourselves some zombies, a couple more abominations. We've got a ghoul, a couple more bone golems. It's not going to be an easy task. And then we're going to follow it up with a lich on the backside and another lich. And, yeah, another skeleton mage. So I expect once the liches move to the front, I think there's going to be a lot of resurrection going on. So we'll, we'll see. Either way, that is pretty much it for this episode, folks. It's a... Uh, it's a lot to kind of take in, a lot to kind of explore and learn again, because it's been so long, but it's nice to see all the changes and additions added to the game, and I'm looking forward to getting back into this a lot more regularly. Regularly, So hopefully you guys are on board with that. Anyway, folks, till the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.